Hey, I'm Bowen, and we've had a lot of requests for Roadshow as a Papa tutorial. So we're going to sit here at Pop World Headquarters in Pittsburgh and play a game about traveling this nation all the way from the East Coast out to San Francisco. Uh, so we'll talk about how Roadshow has multi-balls, some modes, and uh, different things to hit in the face. So from the start of the game, you can suit the skill shot here, which would also start a mode. You plow 10, the dental work instead, to advance towards multi-ball. Four shots it takes to hit Ted to light lock. And in the meantime, if you happen to fall into the hole on the right to start mode, good for you. All right. Lock lights after four shots. And then that spinner shot on the left is the lock. After you've hit Ted enough to light the locks, there's no reason to hit him anymore. So on a replunge, go for the skill shot or soft plunge so you can have a direct opportunity to shoot for Ted. The very first mode in the game can either be New York or Miami, and this can actually make a big impact on your score. Miami is worth far more points than New York, because Miami is an unlimited million a targets, and those targets, every spin there, counted as a million. And everything, every time you hit a stand-up target, it will increase that value by 100,000. So I've already earned more points from those two shots than I would have from a, an excellent New York mode. And let's just try to continue here and uh, see if we can make some more. 1.2 million per switch. Spin, 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 spin. That was like a 40 million spin right there. Hey, and you get to hit right in the mouth, so it can't be that bad, right? Mode runs out after 20 seconds, but in the meantime, it's super valuable. Where are we here? Are we out of time? No, we still have a couple more seconds. 1.6 million a shot, 114 million for the mode. And compare that to what you could get from a New York. New York is actually against you because you want those bulldozer hits to count towards Ted's multi-ball instead of counting towards New York progress. So here with the third ball, I just want to get it safely to a flipper so I could shoot Ted. The skill shot is a way to do that. It will also give you a free souvenir, more salt shakers, yeah. Actually, I don't even know when that happened. Uh, so shooting Ted from either flipper will start the multi-ball. And during this multi-ball, Ted is the first jackpot, then red, then Ted, then red, then somebody else, I don't know. Uh, balls come out. You hit red in the mouth if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. Your first goal is to hit Ted for jackpot. And after hitting Ted, the ball will be kicked out to the upper flipper. So pay very careful attention for that. That's very important. After making a Ted jackpot, the next one will feed red directly. And just don't miss because it's hard to get the ball back up there to get another chance at red. After separation, if you can, if you can choose which flipper to make this with, make it with the left because then you'll have an easy shot at red. And plenty of time here as well if one ball is out of play or moving around to get it trapped, to get it in a hole and just take the kick out, and that shot at red is early on the flipper. Ideally, you should just keep one trapped on the right. You know, you're not always gonna get that ideal, but if you can get a ball trapped on the right flipper, you're in really good shape in this multi-ball. So in this case, the two on the left, I'm gonna pop one up, try to get it over the right. And just be patient about this. And there I was able to use the little side flipper to help here. And I've got two on the right, which is much better. It actually is much better because the, the geometry here makes it easier for me to push that ball to the left. And there it is. So just being patient allows you to continue to make jackpots in this multi-ball. And there's no time limit. It's just as soon as you lose one of the balls. So take your time and make your shots. Especially that red shot. It's super important to make red that first try because it's hard to get back around to that. It's almost as like having to relight both jackpots. And as you can see here, if you can get this multi-ball going, it can be very valuable. The jackpot maxes out at 75 million, but uh, that doesn't mean you can't still get a crap load of jackpots out of it. And there, I did a dumb thing, which was to try and take a pot shot and an extra jackpot while the bulldozer was down. So it wasn't gonna go anyway. 
I don't really know why I did that except to say, ooh, ooh, jackpot, which is a bad idea. Let's get something good here. Coffee mug. Sure, why not? Whatever that is. Each souvenir costs you points and is associated with a ah, city. And you notice there, I lost the ball off of red. There wasn't anything I could do there, but there is something I can do there. I could choose not to flip with that upper left flipper. So we'll look at what happens when you don't flip with that flipper next. Plunging a skill shot, we can start a mode. Instead I screwed up, so I will have to try again. Start the mode by shooting the city event on the right. Ooh, this missed badly. If you can miss, you want to miss with a right flipper here, ideally, because then it can fall in like that and you'll still get the mode. This is a one-shot mode. You can also increase the value by shooting the left little loop. Uh, I find myself unable to shoot that, so I'm gonna just stay away from that. One shot, it's over, it's gone. You don't get a lot of points for this, but you do get your progress across the country. Every ramp, every shot you make will advance you, and most typically, the advancing you wanna do is through the spinner. You can also advance by making ramps back and forth. So let's look at what that looks like. That's the right ramp. The right ramp will light the left ramp for a multiplier and for high, high value. Making a left ramp will feed the left ramp again. So it go, generally goes left ramp, left ramp, multiplier, right ramp, another multiplier, back around the back, into the hole, boom! That's an ideal combo. It starts a mode, it gives you two multipliers. In this case, it gives me, it gives me one of the, the, the wheel awards, which is a hot dog. Now I've started Ohio, which requires two shots. So let's look at that again. It's left ramp, left ramp again for a multiplier, right ramp. And if you can't make the right ramp like I can't, then it's no big deal. You just go back around and do it again. What do we got? You're there? Flying rocks! Oh no! All right, it's time to learn about the magic stand-up. Watch this! Watch this! Boom! Mode's over. I win. What the hell just happened? All right, there's a target up there below the upper left flipper. Use it. It's helpful. It's called the magic stand-up. I actually, I'm not sure it has a name, but who cares? It's called the Magic Stand-Up now. As you, as you saw, you can continue to make progress towards cities by making ramps. Just getting control of a ball and making, making the opposite ramp is a good idea. If you see modes lit, go for the modes. And here's Flying Rocks. So Flying Rocks has a side plunger like Funhouse. These three lights can come on, or you can also nail Ted in the head for 25 million. 5X Blast is usually not that valuable. Radio Riot is probably the best. Uh, Radio Riot gives you 10 million per hit to that side bank target for the rest of the ball. Shut up, Ted. Uh, and the extra ball, if it's available, uh, it's valuable, of course, since it's an extra ball, but in most competition play, it's not there. So let's try for the extra ball and see what we get. Ah, too hard. So you get 25 million for hitting Ted, but uh, none of the awards. You can light flying rocks again by completing enough blasts or by shooting flying rocks off of that. And then we'll see where we're at. The next city is lit. Nashville's a good city, so let's go for Nashville. I just mean it's, it's a good city in the game. Sorry. Uh, let's shoot the lock. For the second multi-ball, you have to lock a ball and then re-complete the four hits to Ted's bulldozer to light the second lock. So most of the time, players tend not to go for, oh, close to a skill shot there, but I blew it. Um, it's also typical with uh, arcade play to take those multipliers and get up to light extra ball by shooting those ramp bridge outs. So that's the most common way of playing the game that I see. This is a quick multi-ball, 10 million a shot to the radio targets. If you're working on multipliers, this is a good way to work on it. If you're in an arcade, you can also just collect blasts to advance towards extra ball, and my blah blah should stop now so that I can move on. I mean, really, we're just stuck in Pittsburgh playing this game, but we've moved all the way across to Nashville. Great place to, uh, to visit. 
Blah, 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 blah. Not a very valuable multi-ball. You just want to survive that mode. Get your 10 millions that you can. It's not a bad mode, but you're not liable to get much out of it other than ramp progress, multipliers, maybe some blasts, and Flying Rocks is now lit again. All right, so let's go a little softer and see if we can get that extra ball. Oh, God. <laughs> Bad play. Uh, so I've made both of the worst awards off of that. That's okay. Nobody's watching. Start City is lit. We've already worked our way halfway across the country now. We haven't talked yet about how to change the mode. And there are three stand-up targets on the left, white, yellow, and orange. On the right, there are three bumpers, white, yellow, and orange. They, those choices will change the city. The one rule is you can't have consecutive cities of the same color. So I can, the next city for me will either be Chicago or Dallas. Dallas is further to the left. So if I'm trying to progress to the West Coast, Dallas is a better choice. Chicago is worth more points, I think. Dallas is actually a very quick and easy get in, get in and get out mode with the Monster Cab. So, actually you can get pretty good value out of this by making the ramp combo. So, okay, left ramp, left ramp, multiplier, right ramp, multiplier, pull. Left ramp, and I missed the hole shot, which put me in danger. I was able to kill, oh, get out of there, get out of there. Ah, should have had that. I wasn't paying enough attention to be able to handle that. Cities count off and you'll see you get credit, 10 million per city for any city you have the souvenir. And then it gets multiplied. So that was 60 million points for having that Ohio coffee cup that was awarded Bob's Souvenir Bunker. It pays if you're going to play Roadshow to get an understanding of which, which uh, souvenirs are associated with which cities. Let's see if we can get that extra ball that we lit by getting multipliers. You can also get an extra ball off of the uh, spinning, uh, uh, sorry, the, the wheel. And the way the wheel works is you light the wheel through by making a multiplier. Shooting the spinner will then spin the wheel and give you something. Shooting the, that hole will give you whatever is flashing on there. So let's get the extra ball. Is it an actual extra ball? Oh, sweet. Sweet it is. This will allow us to continue our travels across the coast. You may have noticed earlier I did not flip that flipper. Uh, instead, I let the flipper go down past that. That is a safer thing to do. Do not hit blast zone, it says. So let's hit the blast zone. You're not supposed to do that, but who cares? It's fun. Way more fun to do that than actually score points in this mode. But if you see uranium worth $3 a chunk, do this. I didn't do it fast enough. You can start a mode where a, a special hidden feature where all spots are worth three million. It's called Construction Mania. So at this point, I'm in Minnesota. The next mode would either be Albuquerque, which is an opportunity to trade your, trade your souvenirs for money. I don't usually ever take that. Or Denver. I can't get butt at this point because I, can't, I just played Minnesota, which was white. So I can't get white because I had the... Uh, no, it's the other way around. I can't get butt because of white, uh, whatever. Something like that. Um, Denver is a left ramp mode. It's left ramp all day. And unlike the normal behavior, it will not feed the left flipper. So you can just continue to make left ramps. And you're getting multipliers for this and you're getting the points for the mode. Denver is the easiest mode during which to advance the multipliers. This is the, one of the most valuable modes in the game especially if you've played to the point where you have souvenirs and you have uh, the opportunity to win points off of the souvenirs. So if I had, I had even one souvenir, which I do, I have uh, the coffee cup from Ohio. Having the coffee cup from Ohio means I just got another 50 million. You're there, which is one of those will give you a point award for your cities and will immediately light the next city. And there's the drop. So that is the safest way to handle that kick, that upper flipper. You hit red, you have a chance of dying because your ball is out of control. So don't hit red. And finally, we get butt. Uh, this is a tunnel hunt. There are three tunnels, which is the spinner and the city event and the skill shot hole. Each one of those is worth points. Remember this magic stand up.
Oh, magic stand up, take it away. The magic stand up will just give you one of the things you need. So if you need an advance in, the in, in a mode, have it hit the magic stand up. If the ball is coming off that upper flipper and you're in a mode, just let it go because it's magic stand up time. All right, so what's next? We just had butt, so the next will either be Salt Lake City or Las Vegas. I want Salt Lake City because I have salt shakers. Hit that. Oh, that was close. Oh, the, oh, a bad mistake there. Had to save, blew it. I've noticed that I have another extra ball coming at uh, 11 blasts. So one more blast. I'm gonna deliberately go for blast next uh, during the extra. Uh, this would be the point during which if this were a three ball, no extra ball game, that would be it. So 2.8 is probably the high with no extra balls. I go 1.8 right now, which is a good score, but it's not as good as uh, the, the grand champion, which is Daniele Acciari on this game. I do have three extra balls, lit. light extra ball there, light extra ball there, and light extra ball there. So that almost guarantees me not to get any of them. Well, let's try and see what we can get here. That stand up, lit the blast, 11 blast. Oh, and what do you know? <laughs> All right, so now you've seen one game of Roadshow. Let's really show the value of that magic stand up by disabling both upper flippers and trying again to play the game with just the lower two flippers. All right, let's wreck some roads, play some modes, play some road shows. In Roadshow, you can start modes by hitting the City Award on the right. You also can change the mode through either the bumpers or the stand-up targets. So one of the opportunities that supports you, the player, is to change the mode whenever they want to. At the very beginning, I hit the yellow stand-up right away, which changes it from New York to Miami. Miami's worth way more than New York, so I want Miami. Uh, this is a straight shot into the city event. If you're having any trouble with it, like I am, you can try backhanding or just uh, crossing your fingers, perhaps. But uh, eventually you get it. <laughs> From a trap ball, it's a short backhand. Miami Spring Break is the mode where every switch is worth a million. The spinner is the best shot because there are a lot of switches that'll go off. And then there's a stand-up target below that upper right, upper left flipper. So this is ideal. Get the spinner, bounce it off that target to the point where it goes over to the right flipper and then back into the spinner again. This can be a huge, huge point collect. 1.4 million of spin there. And now it's be 1.5 if I can get it again. Bumpers are the value the same as there and again, any stand up you hit, any at all, will add to the value. So that's a two million of spin, those spinners right there. 2 million for hitting that stand-up target and everything else it picked up there. That was a big, big number for that uh, that round. And at the beginning of the game, I've got 181 million right now. What usually happens at the beginning of the game, players plunge a skill shot, they play New York, it sucks, and uh, New York is not worth anything. Notice also I've lit the lock by hitting the bulldozer. In New York, you can't earn uh, days of the week by hitting the bulldozer. You can only earn that during modes that don't use the bulldozer. Or maybe you can't earn it during modes at all. I don't know. Somebody can tell me what's, uh, what I'm wrong about there. Oh, dangerous. That was a terrible play there. You need you need miles to start the next mode. You earn miles by hitting anything. Like, well, you know, not those uh, bumps that don't do anything, but holes are worth miles, ramps are worth miles, spins are worth miles. And eventually you'll learn enough miles, you'll hear the sound effect telling you that the next mode is ready, and then plug it into city events. Here's Ohio Turnpike, which is you complete by making a ramp combo. So for example, left ramp, right ramp would finish that off. Also hit the magic stand up, and the magic stand up will give you some award for that mode as well. So don't forget about that stand up, it is huge. There is an award, and if we can, if I could combo that, I could have uh, picked up a little bit more and finished off the mode there. There we go, that'll finish it off. Hey, we got away. 40 million there for Ohio. It's not as much as Miami, but it's pretty good. And lock is lit. Let's see if we can lock one on here. Well, I shouldn't be, I should be less aggressive here. I've uh, already got a warning. 
you're there will light the next mode. It'll give you points. I kind of wasted the you're there there because I've got the mode was already lit. Uh, so it goes. Nashville will be next. Nashville is a two ball multi ball. You got a painter tie. Yeah, uh, painted tie. I think that's associated with the Albuquerque. A painted tie. I don't know what it's like. This is a two ball multi ball where the goal is to hit the radio targets. And the radio targets will be worth 10 million a shot. As usual, don't forget about that magic stand up. It'll just give you whatever is going on once. You don't get to use the magic stand up all day. You can't just forever use magic stand up to collect points. But you're going to get at least one award out of magic stand up every ball. I mean, sorry, not every ball, every mode. Here's the second lock. That spinner, by the way, is worth more and more as the game goes on. Uh, every time you shoot the spinner, it adds value to itself. Uh, here's two locks. And at two locks, you want to put the third ball right into Ted's gullet to uh, start the multi-ball. Sometimes, depending on how the games are set, you can slam the ball as hard as you can off the plunge, and it'll go right in. Ah, well, it doesn't usually work, but when it does, it feels great. You can't play modes when multi-ball is ready. They don't overlap. So, no matter how many miles you collect now, you're not going to be able to get anything. And uh, maybe we can start multi-ball here. Maybe we can. Boom! Alright, during multi-ball, the jackpot is red, so we'll try to hit red without having a working upper flipper. This is not going to be easy. The first jackpot is Ted, so we can pick that up. Magic stand-up doesn't do anything for you, unfortunately, but you can get a jackpot by hitting Ted. And uh, maybe we can get a bank shot into red here, but it's going to be difficult. It basically just goes Ted, Red, Ted, Red. And if you hit Ted when you're not getting jackpot, you add five million to the jackpot value until the maximum. Boom! Oh yeah, oh my. Missed it there, missed a chance for the third one. But uh, that was a good multi-ball considering the circumstances. Uh, and then back to regular play. The unfortunate aspect of this is the regular play now involves this, this song. So you're kind of stuck. We're back to Chicago, home of the Pinball Expo, and that counts as a mode start. So backhanding is good because there are very few poor things that can happen. In Chicago, you need to shoot the four shoot here shots, which are the left lane that I almost got there. Both ramps. That will usually count as both shots. It'll count as both a left ramp and a right ramp and a left loop. So if you can make that right ramp with bridge out, you notice I got credit for both the right ramp and the left loop. I just need now the left ramp, which I was making just fine before, but now that it's, it's uh, somewhat important, that uh, mode's over, so never mind. All right, let's keep it going. Next mode is Kansas City. And if you can remember like what souvenirs you picked up, it's very helpful because then you can get things that help you advance forward through the game. That's a million a shot here. Let's see what souvenir it's gonna give me. Over time, the souvenirs actually become more and more valuable here because you've done that fool's gold. It costs 20 million waste points. It is a waste of money, but it's pretty clear what it's, what it's associated with. It's associated with uh, Denver, maybe? I don't know, oh, whatever it's associated with. Uh, I think I've got the next mode start lit. That's uh, Kansas City. Kansas City is a two ball, another two ball multi ball like Nashville was. This time the award shot is the shelter on the left through the spinner. So you want a soft plunge here, and that way you can nail the shelter when the ball comes down. That was nice. I hope it gives me two. That's only gonna be one, but the stand up will give me another one. So ideally here, if you're a stage flipper person, you wanna keep that left, left flipper stage. In my case, I'm just terrible at stage flipping, but I don't have to worry about it right now. Because those uh, upper flippers are not activated. Be careful with two, any two ball multi ball. You want to be careful in general just of getting back to normal after the multi ball is over. Very, very common to double drain and not be able to then pick up what's what you're available. Flying rocks on the left, it's a side plunger. It's available after you collect three blasts. You can pick up 5x blast, radio right, extra ball, or you can whale Ted in the circuit belt for an extra 25 million. And I think Albuquerque is. Maybe ready. Uh, yeah, the next mode I think is lit here. Come down here and we'll put it into Albuquerque. Albuquerque isn't really a mode so much. Notice there that uh, that just changed. Because I hit a white bumper, it changed from Albuquerque to Minnesota. That means a slower path through the country. 
you cannot get the same color consecutively. So if I just got yellow, Kansas City, the next one's gonna be either Minnesota or Albuquerque. And on the one hand, a slower path means you're gonna get more points overall if you get to Super Payday at the end. But uh, it also means you're less likely to get there because you need more modes. I try to get to Super Bay Day across the West Coast as fast as I can. Besides, near the West Coast, things are pretty awesome. Oh, let's see. Uh, this is... Oh, and it's down! What a break that was. Uh, drain during Minnesota. We have played a ton of modes here. Uh, we've got good progress towards that. I don't know if we kicked up any good souvenirs here. We didn't, but we got 92 million in bonus as well. 871 for ball one is pretty good. And um, let's see if we can continue this and make it all the way to the West Coast. All right, as ball two starts, we made it two thirds of the way across the country. Denver is ready. We plunge into the skill shot to start Denver. And at this point, usually you try to just make a mad dash across the country all the way to the West Coast for the final mode. So let's see if we can pull that off. All right, so to start a mode, put it back into the event saucer. And you can make that shot from either flipper. It tends to be easier from a trap on the right, at least earlier in the game. There we go, because if it falls off there, you're all right. Let's go! All right, this is basically a uh, ramp mode. The left ramp is worth 5, 10, 15 million. So post transfer will be effective here at getting it over to the right and plucking that left ramp as many times as you can. In my case, the number of times is zero. Yeah, we got one. And this is also a cheap way of picking up multipliers because comboing ramps gives you a multiplier. In this case, I'm out of time. Didn't do very well with that mode, but this is a really nice opportunity to pick up uh, multipliers on your way across. Next mode will either be Butt or uh, Las Vegas. Changing the color of the mode through the bumpers or those colored stand-ups is a good idea if you're trying to get across the country faster. In my case, I just want to get miles, so making ramps and shots is key to miles. Right ramp is worth 100 miles, and the combo, don't forget about that spinner shot because it'll give you miles. No, so I just got all the way there, and it also gives you an opportunity to pick up a souvenir. Neat. Cost you points, but you may pick up some points at the end of the ball as a result of that. And here comes Butt. What are they digging for here? Let's dig in, darling. So we just played uh, Seance, and now it's time to play Tunnel Hunts. There's three tunnels, the three undergrounds are the spinner. There we go, and remember this stand-up will give you an award in the mode, so as it comes down here and it hits that stand-up, you just get one, one more for free. And now I just need to shoot underground, and that'll be the third one, and we're done. Nice shot. 47 million in the box. Oh, full trapped on the left. So I think I mentioned this on ball one that you can just keep plugging away in the city event and pick up 75 miles. It's 400 miles to the city. So a ramp, the right ramp is worth 100. But a lot of players will just plug it into the uh, city event. I personally, I like the spinner. The spinner is worth a lot more miles than people seem to, seem to, to uh, think about here. We've gone through butt. We could hit the yellow and go Salt Lake City to go a little slower across, but Las Vegas is the last mode before Super Payday, so this is pretty sweet here. Uh, this will be a slot machine mode. And, oh, bad break there. All right, ball three begins, and we're within view of San Francisco. We've just got to start that mode by earning enough miles from spinners and ramps to light the city event down there. You can still plunge for a skill shot, and that would earn miles a little short there, but let's just make some ramps and we'll get this going. Oh, by hitting the white target there, instead of starting San Francisco, we'd start Seattle. You can choose which of the three modes you're going to start by hitting either the orange, yellow, or white stand-ups. Uh, all three are pretty much equivalent, but uh, I, know, I got a feeling we'll, we'll probably prefer to start San Francisco here. And here we go. So San Francisco is a monster attack mode, and the center shot, we were 10 million, the bulldozer, Realistically, you know, that's not really what you're here for. But you can earn 10 million a shot to that. But what you're really after is locking the balls in the spinner. If you can put two balls in the spinner, you'll get Monster Lock 1, Monster Lock 2. Or if you played Seattle or LA, it's Alien Lock or uh, whatever LA is, I forget. Something to do with uh, uh, LA. But 
That second ball, you want to plunge soft, put it in the left lock, and it'll start Super Payday. Anybody feel that? Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, Super Payday doesn't cause a massive earthquake destroying the earth, but it instead gives you a big pile of good stuff, including a special, spinning the wheel, glass, and the really big one there is shooting the ramps for payday bonus. Unfortunately, you're stuck listening to this song as well. But uh, whenever you shoot a ramp or any of the shoot here lights, you will earn the points you earn back through the modes you played during the game. So at the beginning on ball one, we picked up a big score off of Miami. We picked up a pretty big score off of uh, Kansas and Denver. You're going to be able to collect those as well as you go through. The cities will be awarded from right to left as you played them throughout the game. So that decision to start in Miami instead of starting New York is going to pay us even more dividends now than it did just on ball one. A little secret here, if you plunge and make the skill shot, you will get a fourth ball. That is the only way to get a four ball super payday, otherwise it will be a three ball fair. So be careful when you plunge that third ball into play, make a skill shot. Once you got a fourth ball, you don't need, the, you don't need that skill shot. I know it's there, we're getting huge points from Miami. This is a very quick super payday sometimes though. So, unfortunately for me there, it was kind of a wash. Uh, but I did pick up 360 million points for getting Miami. Uh, and then you can go back through cities again. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could start again in Miami. We're gonna pick off a few cities that we didn't play at the beginning of the game so that you can see a few more examples. New York is a bulldozer mode. And I highly, I highly suggest if you're playing this in competition, you ignore this mode. Shooting the bulldozer is dangerous. And in this case, the first shot to the bulldozer is only worth uh, a, a four or five million, I believe. So there's not much reason to do that. Instead, you time it out. You're also not earning days towards locks from shooting Ted like you normally would. So a shot like that, uh, missing it gives you nothing. But even making it puts the ball out of control for no good reason when realistically you could be making progress towards another multi-ball, towards another, another mode. There are lots of things you should be doing instead of shooting that shot for New York mode. Right there. That's Wednesday, that's one fourth of, uh, of getting towards multi-ball. Why not do that instead of shooting it for four million points? You're surely going to get more than 16 million points for shooting that shot four times. Picking off souvenirs is still a good idea, especially if you've collected a lot of cities because you've got a better and better chance of picking off the city of where you've been. And if you're doing that, bonus multipliers are critical. Getting yourself to a max bonus multiplier by making ramps and ramp combos is big. In Atlanta, it's a one-shot mode. Hitting the blast targets on the right will finish that mode off. And that's the end of the ball. Come on, I missed everything, we're fine, so what? Uh, but we got there all the way to Super Payday. You got a little payoff here from any souvenirs that match cities you've been to. And almost 200 million in bonus for over 2 billion for the game here. So not too bad for a, a road show with no, uh, no upper flippers. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Let us know what questions you have. And uh, please pass this around to others and watch this video. Thanks a lot. So we're gonna take you through some of this game. Now we found this game on location here and it's leaning a little bit to the left for some reason, apologize for that.